we are ready. We are ready to fish. What's going on, guys? We are finally. <laughs> do I just do this over now? No, no, no. Just keep okay. it fresh. We are finally back in northern Wisconsin after taking a week long vacation, much needed vacation. We did not fish. Or well, we fished we a little fished bit. We fished a little bit. But it was um, not a fishing vacation, it was no. a mental health vacation. Yes. Because someone was getting a little crabby. Me? It was definitely him. <laughs> so it is midday right now. Didn't get back till 4 a.m. Um, so that means... We're back in northern Wisconsin right now. Yeah, I said that. Okay. Yep. Uh, it's flat, calm day, bluebird sky. So we are going to be pulling some spinner rigs. Yeah, it does not look uh, very optimistic outside. Um, not really. But this is how a lot of the midsummer is. You know, you get a lot of these days where it's just hot, hot. flat, and uh, you know, it's probably very similar to a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys probably have phenomenal walleye fishing success spring, early summer, targeting a lot in those generally shallower water areas. Um, as fish push out and kind of continue to push out really until that mid-summer kind of thing. You can think of a lot of times walleye fishing or really any kind of fishing as having a lot of the same progressions. Fish start on the bank very early in the spring. They move out to intermediate depths in the early summer. They move out to generally the biggest, largest basins on the lake, generally deeper water in the middle of summer. And then they slowly work their way back in the fall. And right now we're at that period where it's kind of peak summer, right? Water temps 75, 76, 77 and up, kind of depending on where you are. And a lot of these fish are out in the basin. And a lot of days like this, you know, trolling is a great way to catch these fish. And uh, we'll kind of go into why that is. But um, one of my go-tos on days like this is the... Spinner rig with a crawler. Spinner rig and a crawler. Pulling spinners out over the basin. And today we're going to kind of do a little bit of trolling over open water. Hit bumping into some structure. I haven't been on this lake in probably a week and a half. So no idea what it's really going to be or if this video is ever going to see the YouTube. But um, we'll see what's going on. Hopefully see. catch fish. I think we should make the goal like... Uh, we'll maybe give it an hour or so and hopefully we catch like four or five six fish or ten or ten or twenty who knows who but knows? stay tuned should be a good video we're going to kind of go into what we're doing what we're looking at on the graph and uh, what we're pulling for baits but we got to get the trolling motor down we got to get some planer boards in the water put some uh, dirty night crawlers on some spinner rigs and hopefully catch some fish make a sound when you do it go pow, pow. all right Where do you see them on here? Like right there? No, I don't, because they're straight down. Oh. How'd you find it? Guess oh, because you're watching this. The... Right there. No, no, it's a rock. No, it is a fish. Look at that. Fish. There you go. Shelter, fish on, slow and steady. We don't know how many shots we're going to get here. No practice runs. No How's he feel? Looks like it's probably a decent fish. Yeah, it's decent. Just came through a big old pot of them off the left side of the boat. And I wouldn't be surprised if another one gets tagged, but we'll take whatever bites we get. And that was back, I was running 50, 60, 70. So that was back 60 feet on a one ounce weight. Just gonna have that thing right in their face. I'm actually kind of shocked we don't have another board going back right now. Are you shocked? I am. It's That's kind of disappointing. Me. Kind of disappointing? Tighten your drag. Just a little bit. There you go. Most time where they come off on spinners is right at... Look at that. Oh, star. No. We got snagged on the bottom with that one. Uh -huh. We got to get un unstuck. I was really hoping we were gonna have two there. All right, we are unstuck. Yep, pick it up. Start reeling. Got them. All right. Slow and steady. Name of the game. When trolling, I think he's gonna come up and play nice here. Where are you at, buddy? I can't remember what I had on that rod. If it was a butterfly rig or a blade. Keep them coming, keep them coming. That was a all purple blade. There you go, Shelps, your number one. Nice one. 
Middle of a bluebird day. Nobody out fishing today. Nope. You get that fish. I got him. Show it, that one to the camera. I'm gonna re-prepare the snagged up rig. Nice first fish. It's been a minute since we've been out fishing. Took a little vacation. Glad to be back doing it. Good work, good work. Right there, Shelby. It's all you. I'm ready. You're ready. Inside board. Oh, you won. We had a little rivalry going which board was gonna go next, and I said the inside board. And what were our stakes again? A new gun? <laughs> you now you have to get me a new gun? No, that's not happening. Swing them on in. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Just uh, let that first fish go. Kind of did a corner and right away inside rod goes back. Oh, Decent? Maybe. 32 feet of water, that bait's down about 20 right here. We get our net. Is that the right kind at least, Shelby? There's just a ton of life in the water, about 22 down, 25 down, somewhere right in that zone right there. Straight down. He's straight down. Come back here a little bit. Sometimes when they come in straight down, they're nice. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. He's a nice one, Shelby. Nice one. There you go. In the bag. It's actually, I think the same blade I put on that caught the first one, so maybe we just need more straight purple in our life. Wow. We are now running crawlers, it's kind of at that point in the year where um, a lot of times right around the 4th of July up here, fish kind of change and start eating crawlers really well. Need a players or something, we got them out. There we go, tail hooked or front hooked? Uh, it's just a single hook. Oh no, that I does have two, one. that was on that front hook. All right. Oh, okay. The big slow death hook. There we go, nice beautiful one. walleye right there. Catching them middle of the day. Kind of a, just one of these days that uh, just real flat, hot sun that can traditionally be very difficult, but obviously we're just getting started here. Catching a few fish. Was he just all fire yeah, when he took he off? Was. Was nice. Good work. Back for more. How many feet did you have out on that, Shelby? Quick quiz here. Ah, uh, this one was 50, right? Inside 65. Oh, I thought you said 50 on that one. No, we're on 50. 60 oh, 70s but I our last two fish have come on 60 so now we're going to switch a few more over to a straight 60 65 feet and see what happens there sometimes when these fish don't want to move dialing in and exactly how much line you got out what speed you're going you know that both those things obviously dictate how far that bait is down you know what size bouncer you got obviously so we'll just keep replicating and hopefully keep catching fish we're kind of reeling in to check some lines right now and lo and behold lots of floating weeds out here today and that's one thing you got to check for right there. Just a lot of floating garbage and debris. A lot of times that bottom bouncer will collect a lot of that stuff. But always good, you know, once a pass kind of, you know, if you're turning around or kind of trolling a big area, get done with that pass, you know, check your rigs, clean it up. Because a lot of times you'd be surprised, you know, like let's say you catch two fish and you pull in your other four rods and they all got weeds on them. Summertime, especially when it's real calm like this, no real wind to blow this stuff out of here. There is a lot of floating junk. And most of the time we're trolling, we're trolling about 1.2 when we're pulling spinners like i said we're pulling one ounce bouncers today and uh this color that we got right here i'll kind of show you guys quick has definitely been the go-to this little purple guy right here this one's actually on a slow death and it should be sitting about like that right there and i am tied in with a little stinger hook right there but this little purple color definitely been the go-to choice today for these fish Shelby, Shelby, Shelby. That one bit it good, huh? There you go, there you go, there you go. I don't know what that is, but it is heavy, yeah, isn't it? Is. Just take your time, take your time. If it's substantial, we definitely want it. Oh my gosh, I'm letting my inside board out my arm. Oh no. Wait, no, what was I doing? Where is it? 
Are you letting it out? Oh yeah, I was letting it out. Lie. Okay. <laughs> momentarily lapse there. I'll clear this one for you, okay? Because that one looks a little bit nicer. Slow and steady. You better get out of my way. I'm out of your way. Don't you worry about it. Trolling's a team sport. And there ain't no I in team, Shelby. That's who? You. you. Me this, me that. <laughs> Where's my fish? I'm sorry. That, some days, it, some days it's slower than other days, Shelby. If it was up to me, we'd catch a hundred every day. What do you think about that? That's pretty cool. We'd get to routine though, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be so boring. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you just don't know what to say right now on camera. What? I'm fine. What okay, 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 about? okay, okay. You just have to make up drama. You're not gaining any line right now. I know. Okay. Well, what do you want me to do? I don't know. Tighten up just a just a touch. I get nervous doing that. See now all the lines going out. Okay, tighten. How about the musky? I don't think it's a musky. <laughs> Never know though. I guess right. It's not a musky. No, it's definitely not a musky. All right, pick it up. Keep her coming. I sure hope it is. <laughs> You're the one fighting it. <laughs> How big do you think it's going to be? I don't know, but none of the other ones are like that. 25? 26? Hopefully. 36? Okay, no. Not 36? Not 36. All right, 32. we'll see. 32. Though. Definitely the right kind of fish. Not a panfish. No. <laughs> That's good. This is where they come off when they start doing that. Ooh. It's gonna be a nice walleye, I'll bet, Shelpster. It's gonna be a nice walleye, exactly what we're after, hopefully, huh? It's just straight. Oh yeah, down. it's a walleye. Nice See walleye. Him? Yep, yep, yep. Just keep them coming. Real nice fish. Keep them coming. Angry, that's where they come off right there, but he must be on pretty good. Skills. Yeah, I guess you are pretty skilled. Wow, is he angry, Juana? Crap. Keep him coming. I am. not getting any line. What do you think? Oh, so that one, Shelby. Yep, that's nice. Oh. Got him. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice work, nice work. Oh. It was a little touch and go there, a little tense. I was super nervous. Oh, Were you actually really gosh. nervous? I didn't want to lose him when he was starting to... Do you not want to lose him because you wanted to catch him, or do you not want to lose him because of how mad I would have been? You would have been pissed. <laughs> Look at that beautiful walleye. Middle of the day, tough conditions, catching nice fish like that. Oh, sorry. Can't complain too much. That's what it's all about right there. We'll snap a quick picture and let yep. him go. All right, so spinner rig fishing. When's kind of the right time to do this? Well, a lot of times the right time to do this is on a day that looks a lot like this right here. Um, you know, a lot of these real hot, flat days, you come into structure and fishing is just really slow. A lot of times if you come into a lot of these spots, you know, like let's say this time of year, you know, we got water temps now, 76 degrees, pretty much peak summer fishing conditions everywhere we're going to go. And, uh, you know, a lot of times we're, we're looking at a lot of fish there, like 20 feet, 25 feet, somewhere right in that zone right there. And uh, you might go into structure, it might look like there's a lot of fish there this time of year, or on a day that looks like this. They just might not be biting, or it might be very difficult to get these fish to bite. So we're kind of doing a combination today of pulling out over open water and just, a, you know, occasionally touching into a piece of structure. So, you know, look at what depth those fish are at. If they're sitting on a 20 foot hump and a lot of these 20 foot humps and points and weed edges, like let's say they all kind of have fish on them. Well, we're going to fish that same depth zone out over the middle of the lake. We've kind of talked about this before, but you know, most of the time if we're fishing for fish that are 20 feet down, we're trying to put baits down 15 feet, 17 feet right in there. And today, especially, it seems like most of our fish are in that 20 feet to like 24 foot deep you know, kind of depth zone. So we're putting a lot of baits, like I said, 15, 17, 18 feet, somewhere right in there. Especially when you're fishing clear water, you have a lot more variance on how far you can put that thing down. And uh, you know, on top of that, it's just been a lot of kind of playing with colors, playing with locations, 
fish in open water, you're not going to see as many fish as you will on structure because there's nothing to really hold those fish in an isolated area. Um, it's kind of like fishing a huge flat. You know, you're not going to see just that huge mound of fish somewhere without an isolated piece of cover. So most of the time, you know, we're seeing a fish here, fish there. We might bump into structure, see some fish, maybe catch one, maybe not bump back out into base and maybe catch a few more. And that's kind of been the, the deal today. You know, the biggest question is when do you fish cranks? When do you fish spinners? Um, you know, cause these are generally kind of the most keyed, uh, you know, primary trolling ways you're gonna troll in this middle of summer time frame. Um, sometimes it can go either way. Most of the time on days like this, I'm starting with the spinners, days that look real fishy, or if I'm in a scenario where I just wanna cover a lot, a lot, a lot of water, I'll go with something like a crankbait because I can go twice as fast and still catch fish on that crankbait. So we kind of know where these fish are, obviously, because we spent a bunch of time on this lake and uh, pulling the spinners today. Definitely working on this quick little evening trip on overall a very, very tough conditions type of day. Did we tag one on this or what's going on here? Oh yeah, shelter. At least I think so. You want to take this one? Wait, where, there's one on there? Yep. Get it. All right, fine. The guy get it. All right, you got to do this one though, yeah, okay? I'm gonna move it. Oh, we just caught a little bass. Now we got our outside board shot back. Did it though? I don't know. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Were you looking? <laughs> no. So who knows what happened? I guess, right? We didn't show you guys the bass because you know this wasn't really it's that Tom exciting. Bass. And I'm not a real big fan of bass. We will take a screenshot for you guys kind of shot up a little bit shallow around this flat and you can see a couple of fish right there we're looking at and one good tip you know if you're going through a lot of these rocky areas and you're like seeing fish just on sonar and you know down imaging you just know that there's probably a lot more fish you know off to the side obviously that you're not seeing if you're running like just like plain sand a lot of times you can you can just turn that side imaging on and, you know see every fish back there Hand over fist in it. That or. After that. I gave you crap. Oh, there you go. Fifty, forty feet. Ooh, there's some stuff going on out here, Shelbster. We have not been out here for very long, and it's kind of. This is that time of year where it just it kind of gets tough everywhere. Or good bites are very intermittent, very on and then very off. And uh, a lot of times it, it's much slower styles of fishing, especially on a lot of these clear waters. This should definitely be a walleye. Yeah. Be a nice and running spinners this time of year is just an absolutely clutch way to catch them. Is it a walleye, Shelby? Yeah. You don't have polarized? Oh, he's running. Get him. Get him. Oh, Shelbster. <laughs> okay, we got him. There we go. Another nice fish in the bag. Getting it done. Yeah, I need to get polarized. I couldn't see a thing. You couldn't see. And look at that, Shelby. Look how you almost lost that fish. This was came on kind of like a double butterfly rig, which I used to use a lot for open water just because it's got just like a lot of flash and stuff going on. The fish kind of tangle it all up. These butterfly blades or smiley blades, kind of similar thing, kind of become relatively popular over the last several years. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about the fish even being in there. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, nice walleye right there. But there we go, crawler harness and uh, running these double smiley blades. You know, purple's been good for us, so running that purple one and then that. You always got to run the bigger one up front and then the smaller one behind it because uh, this one's gonna draft more water than that one. So there we go. That was what that one came on. Crawler harness, a couple of smiley blades, pulling it kind of over a large rocky area. There we go, a couple of fish. Got him? Looking like it, huh? Yeah. All right. Trolling is made up, or success trolling a lot of times is made up of just replicating a single pattern. And uh, 
Think that went outside of that? No way, huh? I don't know, I'm kind of skeptical. I'll get this board off for you. And there's multiple different variables when it comes to finding a pattern. One is obviously depth, speed, color, you know, area, a lot of that kind of stuff. Today it was kind of getting in an area that had fish and then kind of putting, we're catching fish on a lot of purple stuff. Swing your rod this way, Shelby. So I started going to purple on literally everything. Most time on this lake, I catch a lot of fish on like clown, colors like that. And uh, going to a pretty much a straight purple today was definitely kind of seeming to be the deal. Oh, Shelbster, it's just a 15 incher. Oh, we caught him. There we go. Another nice fish. And this lake has been getting just insane pressure all year. And, uh, you know, now it's like there's almost just nobody out here, you know. And I think it's just progressively a lot of times I think people have a lot harder time as the season goes on. Staying on those fish and getting to bite. And spinners are definitely, especially on days that look like this, just a killer way to catch fish. And there's another one right there in that. It's a little guy, but hey. 16 Yeah. Catching fish. And then we came on single purple smiley blade with just a slow death and a lot of times you can still run just a whole crawler on the you know a, a slow death like that um they'll have no problem eating the whole thing all right well that is going to do it for today's video shelby do you want to do the outro or do you want me to do the outro I'm too hungry for that you're too hungry you're getting hangry on me already i huh? always um all right well that is going to do it for today's video we're going to get out of here it was a quick little you know hour or so outing and uh, first walleye I've caught all week, Shelby. I haven't even fished walleyes all week, but um, nice. we're, we're back catching fish. So yeah, stay tuned for more content. Today the kind of deal was obviously we were pulling spinner rigs, the crawlers on them, um, 1.2, you know, 1.3, 1.4 miles an hour right in there. And basically we fished one primary area, kind of an area that has large basin out around it and then a bunch of interconnected structure. Most of the time we were out over base and occasionally we would bump into some of the deeper, you know, corners of reefs or stuff like that. And uh, it wasn't too bad, you know, if you stuck at it all day, I'm sure you could do, you know, probably five, six times as many fish as we caught in the quick little time we were out. But good time nonetheless, caught some walleyes on a tough summer day. And uh, I don't have no idea what's next. I'm just kind of like chomping at the bit to just leave and go and travel and just catch a bunch of fish wherever. I know Shelby wants to go to Lake, Lake Superior. Superior and do some lake trout stuff. So we'll probably do that this week if the weather cooperates. But stay tuned for more content. I appreciate you guys watching. No idea where we're gonna be next, but uh, should, oh, Shelby does. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.